what is going on everybody hope everybody's doing good today tonight whenever you're watching this uh, right now I'm just on my way to take care of a few things uh, gotta go work on setting down some plywood on a house and then I'm gonna go and chop some wood and haul some wood around so definitely quite a bit going on today but it's a Friday so I'm definitely happy about that but um, anyways so uh, there's quite a few things that I want to try and talk about first off if it sounds like I repeat quite a few things like if I say you know a lot you know that that's that's one of my bad habits all right so I apologize by annoy somebody or annoy people for saying that repeatedly it's a bad habit I have and then there's quite a few things that I didn't address in a previous video I talked about which you know I talked about uh, the up church versus Adam Calhoun situation and there's a a few more things I wanted to bring up about that situation and then I'm gonna try and get to the Tom McDonald versus up church situation as well if I don't get to that in this video I'll definitely get to that in a, another video but I'll try not to make this video too long either but uh, so anyways um, so uh, for a few days now this situation between Adam Calhoun and Upchurch has been going on and uh, Upchurch received a comment from Adam Calhoun on a YouTube video that apparently pissed him off and uh, Upchurch got mad about it and made a video talking about the situation and a lot of people sided with up church and I I will admit yeah I kind of went one I I kind of sounded one-sided and went along with up church on uh, the issue cuz uh, you know I believed uh, which I still believe he's kind of the I don't know how you would say it, but, uh, and look, I'm not hating on Up Church, nor am I hating on Adam Calhoun or Tom McDonald. I think all three of them are good people. I think they all put out great music, you know. I definitely like Up Church and Adam Calhoun a hell of a lot more than I like Tom McDonald. And for those of you that are going to sit there and say, well, how can you still be a fan of Adam Calhoun after this and that, blah, 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 blah. Because first off, that is my opinion too and if you don't like my opinion about that you know what that is not my problem but as far as this situation goes I definitely do feel like there's things that off church isn't saying that is true or and I also believe that maybe he's not right about some things not calling him a liar I'm not saying I, I don't believe him on everything, but I definitely think there's a few other things that were addressed that are, I can't speak today, my apologies, but I definitely think that there's quite a few things that should have been said that weren't said, and then there were things that were said that weren't necessarily true. like. There is Adam Calhoun's side of the story that I haven't heard about yet, and whether or not we will hear about it, I don't freaking know. Regardless, I mean, hopefully if it's not something big, like Upchurch, or like if Adam Calhoun was planning to backstab Upchurch for a very long time, I don't know. As far as the diss track situation, I mean... Uh, whether or not that right there is true, I mean, I just, I don't know. I don't have the answers. I'm not claiming to be the expert in this situation. Because quite frankly, yes, I don't have the answers for everything in this situation. So, if I sound like I do, then, okay, my apologies. Again, my goal isn't to try and sound one-sided. Because both Adam Calhoun and Upchurch... I believe those two are great people. It's unfortunate that this situation is being handled the way it is, but I do believe there's still a way that this situation could 
backtrack and maybe things will get better. Who knows? I'm not trying to be an expert about that either, but I do believe there's a way that this situation can still change. Because with Adam Calhoun, granted, yes, quite a few weeks ago, he drove all the way down to Tennessee in a really bad snowstorm to talk to Upchurch, you know, tell him to try and maybe work something out with Tom McDonald because Adam Calhoun straight up said that he doesn't think at Tom McDonald is a bad person. And to be fair, I will say this right now, not to piss people off or anything, but the whole situation between Tom McDonald and Ryan Upchurch is complete bullshit in my opinion. Yeah, you know, I'm sorry, I'm not here to hate on either one, but I think Upchurch at this point is just dissing Tom McDonald because either he's jealous of Tom McDonald's career and what all he's done as far as music goes, or Upchurch is clearly getting bored in his life and doesn't know what else to do. Now, I know what some people are going to say. Well, you know what? Upchurch has been going through this and that. You know, he's been dealing with a lot of drama, blah, 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 blah. I understand that. While I don't spend all my time on the internet, obviously, I have been aware of the situations that Upchurch has been dealing with, or supposedly he's been dealing with. Whether or not he actually deals with everything he says, I mean, that's beyond me. Obviously, as far as the core thing, you know, the situations that he's dealt with, with uh, Johnny Goebel, freaking oh gosh dang it, I'm bad with names. Chase Matthew, Nicole Arbor, that's who I was trying to think of. You know, obviously, I'm well aware of those situations, and I understand he's been dealing with some drama about those people. And then obviously him and his mom have not been on the best of terms this past year. And I, I wholeheartedly hate to bring up people's parents, you know, because I'm not one to sit there and talk crap about anybody's family like that. I think it's wrong, and I don't condone that 100%. But like I said, I get it. Upchurch has been dealing with some shit, and maybe that's taking a toll on his life. I don't freaking know. But, like I said, I definitely think this Upchurch versus Tom McDonald situation is complete bullshit. Because not one time have I ever heard Tom McDonald say anything bad about Ryan Upchurch. And if I'm not mistaken, Upchurch even praised Tom McDonald a few years back. You know, said that he was a great artist and that he thinks that Tom speaks the truth on a lot of things. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure Upchurch did a song with Tom McDonald. You know, Traveler, which, yeah, they did do a song together. I don't know why I said I think, but... Yeah, they did do a song. Really good song. I absolutely love it. I absolutely think Struggle Jennings did good in that song as well. I feel like he hasn't been getting enough credit for his verse. But Anywho, with the whole Tom McDonald versus Ryan Upchurch thing. Like, obviously, at first I thought it was going to be some sort of joke. Because the way... Upchurch sounded at first. I thought maybe he was just joking because around time Tom McDonald was about to release a song and he said he had a special guest and I thought it was all going to be a joke and I thought maybe Ryan Upchurch was going to be featured on that song which ended up not being the case. It ended up being Ben Shapiro which Ben Shapiro did pretty good in that song. <laughs> Never would have expected Ben Shapiro to rap. I <laughs> will say that right now. But anyways, uh, that's not the point here. Um, at first I thought the, the situation was 
odd joke, but then all of a sudden he started saying more and more things about Tom McDonald and, you know, saying this, saying that, and all this crap. Like, whether or not Up Church is being super truthful about what's going on is way beyond me. All right, sorry about that. There was a cop that was going by with his lights on. I'm not distra I'm not trying to be distracted. I do have my full attention on the road, but uh, uh, oh, that cop actually just pulled somebody over. Huh. All right, oh well. But anywho, um, so still, like I said, I I do feel like there's quite a few things with up church that aren't being said. You know, things like the Tom McDonald situation and then things with the Adam Calhoun situation because like I said Adam Calhoun did go quite a ways out of his way to try and work something out with Upchurch about the Tom McDonald situation because you guys all know Adam Calhoun and Tom McDonald did do two albums both were good albums I don't think I have a single song from any of those albums that I don't like. All those songs are pretty good, I will admit that. But Whether or not Ryan Upchurch beefing with Tom McDonald had something to do with this situation unfolding, I don't really know. I read Adam Calhoun's comment on a video on a video that Upchurch did and when I read it, I mean, I personally thought that it was some sort of joke. Because you know how Adam Calhoun is. Even though he's been known to say things that were like, wow, really, dude? You know, he, he said some things before that were jokes. So, whether or not Adam Calhoun was really trying to ignite this feud, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I definitely feel like there's more to the story than what's being said. Which is why, in a previous video, I straight up said that I hope that Adam Calhoun does come out with some sort of statement. Yeah, I wasn't sitting there going against Adam Calhoun because I'm one of those people who support cancel culture. I'm not a cancel culture type of person, obviously. Whether or not Upchurch is right, I mean, I don't know. A lot of times he does speak the truth on a lot of things, but here in the past few months, I mean, yeah, I've noticed from what people are saying in the comments on my previous video, yes, he has been acting a bit strange lately. And whether or not it does have anything to do with him dealing with court and all that, I don't know. But what I will say is, the one thing I've been waiting to hear people talk about is why Upchurch never showed up to Adam Calhoun's wedding. Whether or not it was it had something to do with court. I mean, I don't know. I definitely think that Upchurch has something to say about it, but he hasn't said it. Whether or not he's addressed it yet, I mean, I don't know. I'm not claiming that he hasn't, but I'm not claiming that he has either. You know? I'll put it this way. There's three sides to every story. There's Ryan Upchurch's side of the story. There's Adam Calhoun's side of the story. Then there's the truth. Whether or not Adam Ca or whether or not Ryan Upchurch is being truthful about the situation, I don't know. Like I said, I definitely feel like there's more to the story than what we're being told. And, like I said, Adam Calhoun still has his side of the story to give out. 
Whether or not we'll ever get that side of the story, I don't know. But just because we don't get that side of the story, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop listening to Adam Calhoun's music. Because regardless of what people think, I definitely still think he puts out good music. I definitely think he proves a good point on a lot of things out there. Now I know what some people in the comments are going to say. Well, you realized Ryan Upchurch is the one that that started Adam Calhoun's career, right? Yeah, I am well aware of that. I am 100% aware of that. Trust me, I've been paying attention to that as well. Regardless, so whatever the issue is between Adam Calhoun and Ryan Upchurch or Adam Calhoun and Tom McDonald, I do hope that this all gets resolved and you know, all of a sudden, you know, they start to come to conclusions that what they're doing could be figured out. Because I do believe there is a way that all three of them can work something out and hopefully keep their friend or keep their friendships going. Well, and it, as far as the Upchurch, Tom McDonald thing, I know that they weren't necessarily friends. I get people are going to sit there and say that. And that's a point that a few other people I've watched said as well. So, okay, I understand people's point about that. But as far as the Ryan Upchurch, Adam Calhoun situation, I do hope and pray that this is a situation that doesn't go too far. I hope they're, they both work something out. I do hope that they both keep making music, whether or not they become friends again or not. I'm definitely not going to stop supporting either one of them. Because like I said, I think they both put out great music. And as far as Tom McDonald, I think he makes good music, too. Uh, he's got quite a few songs out there that I like. Like, Everybody Hates Me, I Hate Hip Hop, Sober, White Trash, Bad News. You know, there's quite a few. And all the songs that he did with Adam Calhoun on his two albums. I mean, I do think Tom McDonald makes good music, too. But like I said, I definitely like Ryan Upchurch's music and Adam Calhoun's music a lot better. So, I do hope and pray something good does come out of all of this and, you know, maybe things will get better. I just don't know at this point. And I also hope this doesn't affect other people that they done music with as well, like Jelly Roll, Struggle Jennings, Demon Jones, Dusty Lee, Broadnax, you know, a lot of other people that they've done work with. I do hope for the best for this situation. Am I expecting the worst? Yes, but I do hope and pray for the best out of all things. So, that's my honest opinion. I don't want to sit here and wish negativity or, you know, wish for a downfall or anything like that. Because that's not what I do. That's not what I like to do. And that's that. If you agree with what I'm saying, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, do whatever. If you disagree, you know, whatever. That's your right to. If you have a serious problem with what I said, oh well. That's not my problem either. If you respect my opinion, but you feel like you need to say something, then feel free to say something. I will be open for other opinions. And I'm not here to pick sides either. I will say that right now. Hope everybody's doing good today, tonight, whenever you're watching this. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend ahead of you. And that's that. Stay strong. God bless you all, and God bless America. Peace out.